everyone and welcome to yet another edition of the Fuji Guys. And today uh, we're going to do a unboxing video for the S9800. We're also going to do the initial setup for you. So we'll get you started on it as well. So please sit and enjoy the video. All right, so let's get our get started here. So we're just going to open up the box here. So the very first thing you're going to see here is a little packet of instruction manual, uh, CD software, warranty information and the like. So we'll just open that up real quick. So on the CD itself, just put that there for now, uh, you get all of the instruction manuals in all the different languages. So anything you need is electronic, um, as well as the, um, the My Fine Pick Studio software as well is included there. You do get a quick, you know, basic instruction manual. So depending on what market you get, you'll get different languages. So here we have the English, French, and the Spanish. Um, so that's for the North American market. We have our warranty booklet. So this gives you all the information that you need as far as warranty goes, um, as well as the terms and conditions of the product registration and the warranty as well. All of our different locations, our worldwide network for warranty uh, service. And of course, uh, if you're in North America, you'll get this little card in there as well. So if you're in Canada, you would read this side. If you're in the US, you would read that side. So that's the warranty and card information. So we have a little uh, separator card there. Uh, here we have the camera strap itself. So this is a sh like a shoulder strap that goes over your shoulder. There we go. And has a nice logo on it. So it's a cloth strap. A little bit of a grip here on the back. And there's your full shoulder strap there. So I'll just tuck that away. We get also your lens cap. And with the lens cap, you do get a little uh, lanyard to be able to, um, you know, uh, keep the, the cap uh, on the camera itself. So that's what this is, a little tether. Uh, you can easily just wrap this around um, your camera strap itself or the uh, eyelets of the camera. And this allows you to then not lose or keep, it's a little uh, lens cap keeper, if you will. So use this side here to go into the lens cap. Real quick here. There we go. And then you use this end and you feed it through the loop and you give it a pull. And there we go. And you do the same on the other side. So on the strap itself, you can certainly do the same to be able to, so let me just show you that again. You got the strap, you got the loop, you just pass it through the loop and there you go. So you don't lose it. That way you can keep it handy all the time. And we're gonna dig a little deeper in the box here. So in the box, we get our USB cable here. So this is for your downloading of your pictures. We also recommend the use of a card reader. If you don't have one already built into your computer, then uh, then you can certainly use your USB cable. So it gives you a little bit of length there to connect it. It is a standard USB, so they're, they're pretty standard. You'll find them um, pretty commonly. And then this is your standard USB port. And I think that's it in the side of the box there. It is. Of course, you have here are your batteries. So it comes with four double A's right in the box. Uh, these are alkaline double A's. Um, we'd recommend, of course, that you get yourself some rechargeable nickel metal hydride, a uh, nice high capacity battery. So that's how I break these little packages apart. People have different ways of doing it. <laughs> this one's a little on the tight side. But the nickel metal hydride batteries, the advantage there is that it's going to basically more than double your battery life uh, per charge, as well as they're rechargeable. So you're not spending quite as much money uh, on getting uh, alkalines as well. So um, there we go. So there's battery number two in that package. You just give them a good twist and these break apart pretty easily. They do shrink wrap them nice and tight. Keep those poles protected so you don't have drainage issues. This one's really being painful today. There we go. Almost had it. This, this is the fun part of unpacking. There we go. So we got the batteries out and now we grab the camera itself. So this is the camera. Has this little sticker here. This is just to make sure that, you know, uh, what you're getting is a fully sealed camera. And then it actually does kind of break apart and shows that, you know, that the seal has been broken. And there's our wonderful camera. 
On the back of the screen here, you'll see there's a little protector here. You could just peel that off. I'm gonna leave mine on for now. I'm just gonna get the batteries in to start us off. So as you can see here, this is where the batteries go. Um, you just simply line up your poles. So there's positive, there's negative, there's another positive, and there's the other negative. And then of course we want to insert our memory card. So this is the memory card here. Um, recommend using up to a class 10 for video. Make sure the card is facing towards you like that and just slide it in. It is a spring-loaded uh, card slot, so uh, you do have to press down and hear that click and then back up again to be able to remove the card. And there we go. So we close that up. So to, to lock it, um, it basically you have to put some pressure on the battery door. That's intentional. And you just slide it across till you hear the click. To open the door again, you just uh, unhinge this little clip here and pull to the side. So that's how you get the battery door open. And then to turn on the camera, it's right there. So now we got the camera on and the first thing you're going to um, be asked, of course, is to set what language you would like. So we'll go to English and then to set your date. So the key here is to set the date before hitting the menu OK button. So in other words, don't hit the menu OK until all of these parameters have been set. So you got 2015, uh, we're in the month of April. We are currently the 9th, if my memory serves me right. I'll double check. Oh, the 10th today. So we can rotate the, the dial to get there a little quicker to the 10th. There we go. And it's just after 4.30 or just before 4.30 p.m. So you'll see here it says a.m. So you have to actually go all the way around the clock for it to go back to p.m. or vice versa. So here we got a.m., p.m., one, two, three, four. And it's almost 4.30, so there we go. And close enough. Yeah, close enough. And then you hit the menu OK at this point. So we've set everything, menu OK. Now it says that to select the battery types. So right now the camera knows that it's going to be using alkaline batteries. But if I decide to put nickel metahydride batteries in, I have to set that up. So to do so, you go into the menu and you go into the settings. And here you will see battery type. So it should be in the one of the last menus. So three, you see all these different options. There we go. So battery type. And then you can change it to lithium. So if you're buying lithium batteries, of course, that will give you even better battery power. But of course, lithium batteries are, um, are not rechargeable. So it's a one-time use only. And then your nickel metal hydride. But I've got the alkaline, so I'm going to leave it into the alkalines there. And then with your nickel metal hydride, sometimes you need to discharge them to give them a refresh. So this will actually enable you to be able to do that. And now we're just going to take a picture real quick and show you how to, so to take a picture, shutter button halfway down to lock the focus. And there we go, we took a picture, gave you a little preview. You play back the picture by hitting the playback button here. So there's the picture we just took. If you want to delete the picture up here, you can see that there's a little garbage can. You just press up on there and then frame to delete the single frame and erase okay and yes. So there we go. So that's a first look, uh, or rather the opening of box and the initial setup of the S9800. So thank you so much for watching and please feel free to subscribe uh, to the channel of course and, and to follow us on Twitter at FujiGuys. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below and we'll get to them as soon as we can.